I've done it. I've finally um, given notice to the landlord and I am moving out of Toronto after being here maybe 10, 15 years. I had a very, very strong fitness business making six to seven figures. And after COVID shut that down in three months, it was it kind of, it was a really bitter at, at first, but of course, in a way it was a real blessing because it forced me to make money online. And now I am a completely digital making money online and I'm gonna share with you a few ways I make money online and how you can do it as well. Started up this new uh, series on my channel of becoming a digital nomad and the first stop will be Bali. And uh, Toronto has been a great uh, city. There's a lot of perks about it. It's a big sports town. Big, there's tons of beautiful restaurants. The dating scene is insane. The restaurants, the culture, the, uh, the amenities, and the entertainment is just, you know, is top notch. That's why Toronto's been one of the best cities in the world for that. However, I think with the inflation and the uh, constant praise of gas and rent, there's a new law that just came into place where now rent landlords can increase the rent by two and a half percent which has never been done in Toronto before I've just had enough and with the construction and the noise pollution I think it's time it's time to go on so so now the top five ways I create a income online digitally would be one is with affiliate marketing and I sell about 23 different products half of them are uh, weight loss products uh, you can check that out on my fitness TikTok channel and YouTube and then the second uh, sort of products I sell are um, builder all courses where it teaches people to create a digital business that does very well and you can learn how to do that in my bio the third one is my YouTube channel where I'm working on monetizing it so the money is kicked in on that I'm only half the hours I need that's the third the fourth is I actually create website um, no code websites for people online so there's no, no coding needed, it's just using website builders like Wix and GoDaddy, very, very popular. And uh, I've made a couple videos on that in my side hustles report. And the next one would be actually setting up digital businesses for people. I charge about $2,000 for that and I simply market it right here on my TikTok channel and people reach out to me and they want me to set it up for them and that does quite well too. And of course the fifth one would be being a social creator uh, is opened up so many opportunities and it's so liberating and it, and it has such a vast, awkwardly wide scope. You can pretty much talk about anything as a social creator that you want. Everybody knows something and they can talk about something if they really wanted to. And if you can get over the fear of just being on camera and, um, you know, there's also almost some people almost have like a stigma around it where they don't want to show their face on camera, which is, you know, it's just, it's just, that's just a mindset thing that can be overcome. And, um, once you realize the opportunity of being a social creator, like I turned my first original business, my fitness business, into a seven-figure business, uh, like a million-dollar business, just by making, starting off all by just making videos. So people underestimate the power of creating videos. They were fitness videos, and it was just me at one time, and then it grew to a team of like 10 trainers, and uh, that's, that's a whole other story. But So don't underestimate the power of being a social creator is one of the best ways to work digitally. And now I'm on my way to Bali, and um, um, so it's gonna be something that I've never been able to do before. It's kind of funny, I was forced out of my fitness business. I was working every day in that fitness business for about seven years, and uh, I was watching clients go on vacations everywhere, and I was working day in and day out for seven years. I had good money, but it was, uh, I wasn't happy. I didn't even realize it, and it's been, it was a bit of a, a sting when they shut down my business and I lost maybe all the clients in, in the first three months. But in a way, it's been a blessing. Now I'm on my way of forcing me to work digitally and now I'm, for the first time, gonna be traveling and working digitally from anywhere in the world and Bali is my first stop. I'm gonna be working on getting a 60-day uh, visa and you can just buy that at the airport when you get there for about 20 bucks, I think, US, 25 maybe somewhere around there. And um, I'm gonna document my experience as working as a digital nomad. I'll make a new series here on the TikTok channel and on my YouTube, and we'll talk about uh, different locations and how to become a digital nomad in the experience. So that's how it is so far, and I'll talk to you later.